Hi, my name is Coach Martin Gooden. Thank you for pressing play on the video. As you've probably seen from the title, how I got two clients without spending any money and how simple it was and you can do it too. I know a lot of trainers what kind of the, they spend a lot of money on Facebook ads, Twitter ads and Instagram ads when really getting clients is a case of it's right in front of you, it's right underneath your nose. You just got to know how what you do can impact other people. So I'm going to give you two scenarios this week as to how I got two clients without hustling, without spending the money on adverts and just basically keeping it real and knowing what I do can impact other people and basically add value to their lives. So number one, what happened as I was coming out of um, a gym in Nottingham, finishing with one of my clients, I seen a lady struggling, old lady struggling with her handbags, sorry, her shopping bags. And I asked her, you know, can I assist her in carrying some of her shopping bags? Because obviously I could see that once she was a bit of an old lady and she was actually struggling with the bags, what she was actually carrying, okay? She looked at me gone out, but I persisted and I helped her carry the bags. I carried the bags to her front door, which was a, probably about 100 meters up the road. If you know, um, we are, you know where the gym is, what I was using, which was Liberty's gym, you will know there's a slight road what leads you to the back of a church, uh, which is called St. Stephen's Church, okay? Right, upon walking with her, she was saying, oh, yeah, I can see you're a gym person. I said, yeah. I said, in fact, I'm, I'm not only a gym person, I actually change people's lives through exercise and motivation. She says, oh, that's good. She says, oh, I've got a granddaughter who's very overweight, she was telling me. She said she was 18 years of age. And, um, you know, she's tried everything to try and get her motivated in going to the gym. And she's failed at Weight Watchers and Slimming World. Okay, of which I says, you know, I didn't um, talk these companies down. I just made the lady know that, you know, these things are not for everybody. Okay, so I have also had other clients what have come off programs to do with Weight Watchers um, and also Slimming World what didn't gain success. Not that I was putting these companies down, okay? So she says, when I drop the bags at the doorstep, you know, have I got any number or anything where she can contact me because she's really worrying about her granddaughter's health and she would really like to help her. So luckily I had a business card on me which I gave to her. Thought nothing about it, just thought it's just something what, you know, she's just gonna talk about and not really action. Okay, but to my surprise, by the end of the evening, I got a phone call from a young lady. Okay, and I, I, I was puzzled as to who this young lazy lady was. Uh, but then obviously, while going through the conversation, I actually realized who it was. It was the granddaughter of the lady who actually helped carrying her shopping bags. So we had a conversation and as a result, I will be helping her and guiding her towards her weight loss success. I know I'm going to be successful with her because I, extract, I extracted the right information. She just needs to really action the information what I'm going to be asking her to do. Okay, so that was number one. Number two was I went to the NatWest Bank in West Bridgeford area in Nottingham. Okay, and while in the bank, I was waiting in line in an orderly queue. And I seen a lady walk past right to the front of the queue, went to one of the cashiers, which was an Indian chap, and they dropped a bag which contained food. The bag logo on the bag was actually Craig's, okay? So I waited and waited, but while the conversation was going on between him and his sister, I could hear him say, I'm fed up of being skinny, okay? And this was involved one of his work colleagues as well. Obviously, the sister knew that he was on his lunch break or going to be on his lunch break and decided to drop him some food. Okay, look him up. Right, so I waited, waited, and luckily, who did I fall in front of? While I was waiting to sort out my banking, the same chap who 
people saying that he's struggling to actually put on weight. Right, so we did what we had to do. I also made a comment to him about the food, what he's going to be eating. So I asked him if his trains and stuff like that. He says, yeah, but he's packed in because he got demotivated. He couldn't seem to put on any weight, etc., etc. And while the conversation was stroking on, he's seen by, obviously, the branding, what I had on my T-shirt. He said, oh, do you do um, personal training? Of which I said, yes. Okay, again, we stroke up a conversation. I went into a bit more de detail about... Um, positive energy balance and I was asking him questions what, what he's been actually been doing in the past and through this conversation again I extracted information and know that he's what he was doing in the past wasn't the best thing again we stroke up a bit of more conversation and again he asked me how much I charge and you know where do I do it from etc of which I gave him all the information again okay so basically from this these conversations he's decided that he wants to book in for a succession of personal coaching sessions with myself which is great okay but what you must remember the reason why I engaged in conversation with one the grandmother of the granddaughter two the cashier behind the counter of NatWest Bank wasn't to try and get more business, not at all. The reason why I did this because I'm passionate about helping people, okay? I'm passionate about people doing the right, right things to do with their health, training and performance. Nothing to do with just getting involved in people's conversation and thinking about what I can get from them, no. First thing is that I'm passionate about getting people results. So, that is how easy it is to get new clients. Engage yourself in conversation. If you've got something which you know is going to be beneficial to somebody who does not know how they should be doing something, that means you have something what somebody should be willing to buy off you. And if you can solve somebody's problems by what you do it also means that somebody will be willing to invest money with your service or your services depending on what type of business what you actually do that's how easy it is it didn't cost me one penny okay it didn't cost me one penny i didn't have to invest in anything i didn't have to do a facebook ad even though i've done facebook ads before Okay, it was just about me telling people what I actually do. And in fact, I didn't really tell them I was a personal trainer. I told them basically I changed people's lives because that's what I actually do. I go beyond what a personal trainer does. I know that and people have told me I go beyond what I should be going. But this is what I do. Okay, so any personal trainers what listen to this or any people what are involved in business. Okay, what maybe are struggling you may just need to get out there a bit more and tell people what you actually do. But you don't have to actually physically ram it in their face. It just has to be from a struck up gen general conversation, okay? A struck up general conversation. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of noise on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all the social media platforms. But the clients, what you need to work with, what need your help, they're actually nearer to you than you actually think. All right? So what I'm saying again, get out there. Get talking to people. Make people know what you actually do. Okay? And remember, be genuine with people. Be genuine with people. In other words, keep it real. Know your limitations of what you actually do. And do what you know you can do. Don't do what you don't know you can do. All right? So that's my video for today. And that's how I got two clients over the week. Just simple, doing simple, basic things. What I expect that some people, some trainers, some business owners do not do. Okay? And look how simple it is or it was for me to get 
two new clients. And this happens to me time and time again, just through stroking up conversation, okay? While, in, while I'm doing my, on my day to day, also while I'm out socializing, because I don't mind, I'm passionate about what I do. Um, and also, no doubt that people refer people to me, but the main source is that understand that you are your walking billboard and you are the one what can put your point across to people and let them know what you do just by keeping it very real and being natural and authentic all right thanks for pressing play on the video remember share like let somebody else know and um i thank you for pressing play have a great day